Okay, so I'm back with another speed paint. This one is just coloring line art, and I have a lot of those to do. More than 20, I'm pretty sure. This one is by Bloodieth from DeviantArt, obviously. Um, so, knowing that I did not create the line art, let's get started. So here we have a uh, unicorn wearing a party hat with a dark red background. And I do that so I can see what I missed while painting. But later on, I will be removing that background. I don't know why, seeing as how this drawing has been pending for months now. So right now we're just renaming the layers and getting things set up. Let's move on. So here we are selecting my original down flower logo so I can derive the colors of the unicorn from that. I did start out with a brilliant magenta, but I think I decided later that it would be better if I just used my own colors that I made in art class um, roughly eight years ago. And you will see all these colors incorporated, including the black and not just on the outline because the outline's already black. So let's move on. Now, if you remember anything about your color wheel, you will remember that complementary colors are across from each other, which is why I made that little um, blowy thingy blue rather than pink to make it pop more. I did that in MS Paint by using the invert colors function to really make it pop out. And now here we are adding a unique piece that was not part of the original line art to make it look like a horse that belongs on a merry-go-round. First, of course, I look for the phrase merry-go-round, and after realizing that it was not going to be very fruitful, I tried looking up just regular isolated poles. Barber pulls far too colorful and far too tiny. We do eventually pick a nice, lovely, tall pull with which to work. So let's move on. And here we are finally working on the finishing touches, also known as shading. Pretty straightforward stuff here. Just trying to make sure, make it look like it's uh, popping out like a 3D image. And if you look at some of my older works, uh, where I color somebody else's line art and add shading. It looks kind of like a paper doll. I think I've gotten a lot better, and I'm also fully aware that there's a lot more I can improve on too. So let's move on. So as we're finishing up the shading here, I have it sped up because it's pretty straightforward. As I did mention, I'm just trying to make it look like a 3D object rather than have it flat colored. And my main technique is to basically add shading where I know there's gonna be shading and then pretty much just play around with it until I think it looks good. Yeah, I know there are better ways to do it than just slapping on color and erasing and adding parts until it looks good, but I'm only a beginner. What can you expect? So as we're finishing up here, I'd like to thank Bladiath. I don't even remember if I'm watching them still or not. I constantly remove and add watch watches all the time uh, for allowing me and his other fans to use this line art for free for coloring and to further ensure that I know that people know that I did not make this line art. I do add the original line art at the top of the image or the side depending on the original dimensions so that people can see that I'm not the one that made it. It's something I actually came up with because of another line art that he shared. He warned me that he would report it if I didn't change something about it so I changed it and I'm like you know what everybody deserves this kind of format and so I'll be using it um, every single time now. I think it's worked out really well because it really makes it clear, at least in my opinion, that it is not my own line art. And that's something I still need to work on. I don't know how to draw anatomy without just by just using reference picks. I still need to trace. 
I tried reference pics already in MS Paint. I'm not going to share those. And they look like absolute garbage compared to what other people can make. And yeah, I know, I know. I'm not supposed to compare myself with anybody. But I'm not going to just sit there and use reference pics if I don't know how. So I obviously need to work on something to improve that skill. Um, so that's about it. I think I'll just speed up the speed paint to 2000% now so we can get to the end and uh, call it good. Actually, no, I'm not going to speed it up because that's what eats up all the time. We're going to do a crossfade starting now. And so here we have it. The final shading I decided on, I feel like I could have done the belly just a little more rounder with less straight edge on the bottom there. Uh, my lovely pink unicorn that is hopping merrily with a pole straight through its body. Tee hee, tee hee. So that's all for this uh, line art coloring project. So until next time, keep on drawing those drawings and bye.